Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. We are here in the south, so I'm having a zombie from Counterpart, which is their fruity, fruit slushy sours. And I've never been able to get one of these smoothie sours before. This is my second one ever. And this one is um, passion fruit, banana, papaya, and cara cara orange. And it's 5.5% alcohol by volume. So this is my second one I've ever had. The first one I had was about five minutes ago. It was amazing and weird at the same time. But you're never able to get these because there's so much fruit and sugar in them that they will, uh, if they're not kept cold, they will re-ferment. And um, shipping them to the Arctic means they're going to blow. And... Um, I'm just so intrigued to get to try this stuff. Look at that. That looks like orange juice. Like full on orange juice. But look at how thick it is. It is opaque. It is thick as fuck. It looks good and gross all at the same time. Scent out of the glass. Oh my god. Okay, it says there's papaya in here. I don't smell the papaya. It says passion fruit. I don't really smell passion fruit. The banana and the orange, right there though. Oh, that smells great. Let's try it. Cheers. I know I just made a really gross face. It's not that the beer's gross. That was just a texture I did not expect. That was thicker than the last one. Wow. Fuck, it's almost like there's... It's almost like there's pulp in it. Orange, banana. And I can't say I get the papaya or the passion fruit. The orange and the banana overtake a lot. The orange is coming off super sweet as well as sour on the back palate. The banana is there, perfectly ripened bananas. Carbonation is light. Body is super thick. And like I said, it's almost like there's a little bit of chunks in there, like I'm getting some pulp. Um, the flavor is amazing to say. To say it's a beer is just weird because this rem this reminds me so much of Orange Mungus from Flying Monkeys and I loved Orange Mungus. It was a 10 out of 10 for me. This reminds me so much of it. The only thing I can say is that the mouthfeel is just odd and it's hard to get over. But other than that, the flavor is amazing. And if you're looking for a fruit beer, amazing. If you're looking for a beer though, probably not it. But out of flavor alone, I'm giving that a 10 out of 10. That's amazing. Thank you guys. Bye.